Hi, welcome to Nutching Officers. Uh, so, already we discussed uh, this uh, year, there are the three big notifications uh, for the nursing officers. Already we discussed North at 6, this date has announced, exam date also announced, notification also released. There is the online application process is going on. And next upcoming notification already we discussed in last session, that notification also released. Next, big notification that is ESI. In ESI department, especially the nursing officers, there is a 1930 vacancies as released. And these vacancies or exams are conducted by UPSC, United Public Service Commission. What interesting point about this notification? From when onwards the online application started? What was the exactly end date of this notification and what is the uh, editing uh, data especially if you have to check with the editing data what exactly the editing of the uh, right uh, mistakes uh, and what exactly the examination pattern and what exactly the time of examination what are the centers of uh, examination for the esi vacancy let me check in the notification I don't waste the time, let me go to the check the vacancies. Sir. So here we can go to the check the vacancies, especially if you want to check the vacancy. Here notification is opened. Let me check the notification. What exactly the details in the notification? See, there is a whereas official website, you go to check the notification details in official website only. The website, especially just to mention the website, that is known as a UPSC, UPSC online.nic.in. Don't forget this notification website details. So there is a URL, URL, right? A link, a link. So you just check the link here, the link that is called as here, right? UPSC online.nic.in. So just go to this right, link and click on this website. Here there is the option of recruitment. So in the recruitment option, you can see there is here some right vacancy advertisements 51, 50, 52, like that. So you just click the notification number 52. You just click on the notification number 52. So you will get the official notification, official advertisement uh, statement we can download this in the PDF format and we also send and we also attach in the description you just to check the YouTube description you will get the official links also don't worry we send the uh, right official links of this all details right so here just check the notification what exactly the notification is explaining Roger sir See, there is a vacancy number, there is a vacancy number, this one by vacancy number. So, and no matter about this, but vacancies are 1,930 vacancies. Once again, I am repeating this, 1,930 vacancies all over the India in ESI department as a nursing officer. That is very important to remember. So, just to break the vacancies, so already... This notification we discussed in the last video also, just go with this, right, and uh, once again, in official notification, in official notification, once again, I just to check the uh, vacancies according to the reservation. So, here the re reservation vacancies, if you have to check this, you are in open category, there is a 892 vacancies, just to go focus on this, 892 vacancies, and EWS, there is a 193 vacancies, and OBC, there is a 446 vacancies and SC department, right? Especially SC reservation, there is a 235 vacancies and SC there is a 164 vacancies and here there is a disability department. So disability there is a 168 vacancies. These vacancies are right also added a mixer from this sir with all the vacancies. If you want to check with this sir, here there is a reservation center suitability of the post for the right disability. Also mentioned what exactly the disability category and uh, who are the eligible of this disability disability also they explained so let me check what are the other details sir. so there is a vacancy of like this right so according to the reservation open category 892 and ews 193 and opc right 446 and sc right 235 and there is a sc department 164 vacancies which has announced let me check what exactly the dates are interesting of what application data so when the application data and application Form will open. What exactly the right, important important points we should remember? Here some of the details are given for the disability. What exactly the categories and what exactly the right, so short description also is given. So you just remember the code of this disability and you should apply. Right, especially for the disability candidates only.
but uh, check that right the scale here that scale is very important center of government job you know that scale is the center of government job for the nursing officers it's a wonderful scale that we right so seventh level level seventh level seventh it may be the eleventh uh, right uh, seventh level scale so it may be uh, started with uh, so around uh, around we will get the above uh, right uh, eighty thousand uh, right uh, uh, so adding of the D A H R E or all the allowances uh, so we will get uh, above eighty thousand eighty three thousand right. that is the answer of this right and once again to check right, according to the level 7th what exactly the right uh, so uh, monthly monthly right what exactly the monthly salary gross salary will get i'll just uh, make one special video so in that video we can discuss what uh, what exactly the scale level of 7th so i will make you the one special video for this just to remember the scale is a level 7th Level seven, right? So then, check the age limitation. This is very important. This is very important for the age limitations. Let me check what are the age limitations of this ESI nursing officers vacancies. Just go with this. There is a thirty years of vacancies, especially the two reservation categories, open and EWS. Open and EWS. If they are belongs to the OBC, BC category, OBC. That means especially the BC. There is a thirty three years. Thirty three years. If they are the SCN ST, there is a thirty five years of age limitation. Thirty five years of age limitation. And if they are the right, uh, so a disability department, they are the forty years. Forty years. So this is what exactly they are asking the age limitation. to check your age and uh, once again go to the go to uh, to the online applications uh, no worries about that right uh, once you have to enter your ssc details automatically system will freeze the your data but and actually right uh, show it uh, what exactly you are eligible or not so don't worry just go to the online application process and you just to apply enter your right uh, matriculum especially ssc details once you enter the ssc details automatically there is a capture of the data but the right, uh, details and once the data but details are captured so the system will be right uh, simply to validate uh, your age limitation according to your reservation so you just to check your reservation age limitations so if you are uh, right uh, so and uh, right open category or ews category there is a 30 and 33 for the bc and 35 for the sc and st and 40 years for the disability this is what the age limitation they are asking for the right uh, esi vacancies Let me check the next next continuation of the right. So next continuation of this qualification, right? Qualification. What exactly qualification they are asking for the 1930 post, 1930 post. So there is essential qualification, especially to check out of this. So there is a right. So BSc nursing, BSc nursing should be enough with the registration. So if you are the freshers, right? Recently you have completed the BSc nursing, also you are the eligibility of this post, right? No worry, you don't need any experience for the BSc nursing, right? So So even you are the fresher also, you are the eligible of this post. You just to remember, even you are the fresher also. You did the BSc, you did the post BSc. Even you are fresher, you are eligible for this post. No worries, no worries. But you should be registered with our state counselling, right? State counselling that is a NMC that is very important. NMC that is a very important. If you are GNM, if you are GNM, if you are GNM, you should need at least one year of experience, minimum fifty bed at hospital. That is a one additional, right? One additional qualification needed for the GNM. If you are the GNM, if you are the GNM, right? You need a additional one qualification said so that means experience of for at least one year in the clinical side from the 50 bed hospital either the private either the right trustee either the contractor whatever it may be right just remember this point this may be the right one year of experience minimum 50 bed 50 bed hospital right that should be that should be the second criteria for the gnm right gnm candidates you just to remember this while you are applying the right while you are applying this right especially this vacancies sir just to add your additional qualifications specially just to mention one year experience with the 50 bed hospital then go with the next step. next 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 what exactly they try to do the pattern they have mentioned what exactly do they do want to do right so these are the all the all 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 details is just which are daily we are doing as a nursing officers these are the duty charts as you know right no worry about that there is no special role as a nursing officers as usually whatever clinical work we are doing the same they are asking you you can able to you can able to read this right no issue with this right and other details also this may be the post is there permanent group b permanent group b that is very important other details sir this post is there 
post is a permanent it's not contract vacancies these are the permanent vacancies it comes under the group b level group b level vacancies right like a nurse at like a nursing officer in aims the job is equal to the nurse at a nursing officer aims so here there is a some headquarters especially ESI headquarter here they given that the Delhi New Delhi as you know that ESI headquarter located in New Delhi and there is a two years of provision period as mentioned in the right so two years of provision period so in every job there is a two years of provision provision period as you know that right there is no worry about that there is a provision period provision period provision period should be the two years the provision period should be the two years right no worry about this. Right, and let me check what exactly the important dates. It is going the important dates. What important dates do you want to ask? Right, see, this is very important. Note down, note down. Take your paper, take your paper, take your paper, and note down these details. Here, there is the online application process. Online application will open from seventh onwards. This night onwards. This night onwards. Here, ESI application process, ESI online application is opened. They mentioned clearly online application or invited directly either through the selection committee. So you just visit the website as we mentioned in the description also. I will just go and click and get the details from this night, seventh, seventh February of March, right? Uh, right, seventh March onwards. Uh, this uh, process will start. Uh, you just apply the application and there is a one. Uh, instructions also is there. I just tell you, right, be on hold in line. Right? I just tell you what the hurry to apply this notification also. I just to mention. I just tell you just which, just which. It right, a closing date. Closing date, date here. Just to mention the closing date also. Closing date here. This is here. 27th of this month, March 27th is the closing date of our ESI uh, application process for the nursing officers vacancy. And there is a one more important date. Uh, just to note down the one more important date. Closing is the 27th, 27th, and uh, from 28th onwards, application is closed. Uh, but 28th onwards, if there is a, any right, uh, so if there is a, any corrections. Editing any corrections, editing you just go after your registration uh, before your final submission. They given one more option that from the 28th onwards, sir. So March 28th onwards, sir. Right. So they give the one more option for the editing and the corrections. So you just utilize this service and uh, so from 28th to 3rd April. 28th to 3rd April. If there is any editing or corrections, you can, you can, right? You can, you can go through this. You can go through this, right? And here, there is a one more for the date of determining the eligibility candidate, right? Every respect shall be in the, within the date only, within the date only. After careful right, examination, they go for the short listing of application. Short listing. Based on the based on that right based on the right based on the, your details based on the your details your qualification your essential right details they go for the short list short list so this short list is a eligibility candidates to write a exam this short list is a eligibility candidate to write a exam they will download the right so e admit whole ticket that means uh, through the net they will download the whole ticket also so after downloading the whole ticket they have the exam so what exactly the date for the exams and how the examination system what exactly the syllabus let me check let me check let me check what exactly of this what exactly of this we just to check so here just to note down note down note down what exactly they are saying is there is a shortlisted shortlisted candidates so they have the pen and paper based recruitment test that is very important this test is not like in our set NORSET is a computer based test, CBT. But uh, here for the ESI, ESI, UPSC, right, uh, here they give it clearly the examination system like a pen and uh, paper based recruitment test. So this pen and paper based recruitment test, uh, right, uh, will be conducted through the OMR, 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 right, uh, OMR. So they will conduct the exam pen and paper based recruitment test on uh, on 7th, 7th, 2024, the lucky day, 
right uh, 7th 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 2024 just to note down the examination date you have the time you have the time to preparation you have the time to preparation and we are here the media center is here to prepare you we have the OMR we have the pen we have the paper in our office so you just to come and write your exam so we provide you the OMR sheets OMR sheet, printed OMR sheets, and we prepared you according to the syllabus. So we have what exactly the syllabus of this, right? Yes, I what exactly syllabus they are asking. Then we discuss what exactly facility we have in Vidya Centre, right? We have the online and offline facility. No worries about that, right? Here there is just some important points of a scheme of examination. Just to check the scheme of examination, what important points they given. Just to check it, right? So examination test should be. Two hours. The duration should be the two hours on the pen and paper. Examination should be the two hours. And here just to check the right. So there is a all questions will carry the equal marks. All question will be carry the equal marks. No worry about that. Right. No worry about that. Just wait. No worry about that. Right. Just wait. Just wait. Exactly. What exactly? What exactly they are asking, right? So what exactly they are asking? The duration is a two hours, and all questions are carrying the equal marks. Question paper should be the MCQ, multiple choice, MCQ. Question paper should be the multiple choice, multiple choice question paper just to absorb, right? And there is a medium only the English, English, English. There is no other mediums. So English is the only medium here, right? And here there is a penalty for the wrong answer. Negative marking system. Negative marking system is a one third. One third. That is very important. Negative marking system is a right a one third of negative marking system, which they have right. We just to remember there is a one third of negative marking system. We just to remember this point and here to check of this. Check of this. Right. What exactly the syllabus? Here the syllabus. Just to look on the syllabus. This syllabus is only there is a sixteen subjects. Sir. Only pure is the nursing syllabus only. No other. So in the North set, North set they ask the general studies, aptitude, and other languages. But here in the ESI um, one thousand and nine hundred and thirty, only the nursing syllabus they are asking. Central government job nursing syllabus. Each and every metro city and every top cities uh, in this India, right? They have the ESI hospitals. ESI hospitals. Not only in one state like here, Hyderabad, like here, Vijayawada, like here, right? Chennai, like here, Bangalore, like not like that. Right? In every area, in every where we have especially. Uh, we have the right uh, ESI hospitals, so we posted in the ESI hospital just to focus on that. What exactly of the syllabus? Syllabus is very simple. Only the nursing syllabus. They are asking the only the nursing syllabus. Be ready. We are ready, right? We are ready to challenging you, and we are ready to prepare you. No worry about. No worry about that, right? So we have our records and the right. We have our right. What exactly the background of Nidia? As you just to observe the right website, and you will get the full details, and we are ready to prepare you. Right, this system is purely pen and paper based. Pen and paper based. Most priority, most priority pen and paper based. So when you are practicing on OMR only, you will right. So well clear about the examinations and you will well clear about the option choosing and you are well clear about to get the job. So that's what don't miss to practice of this challenge, right? And here the next next important point that examination centers. There are the almost in all popular right town and all popular right especially cities. So they have the examination centers. Just to check it once about it that the examination centers here one more point you just remember there is no additional other right other criteria to select of this poster. Hundred percent, hundred percent weightage should be according to recruitment test. Whatever merit you will get from the right uh, pen and paper based test only. Right, so you are awarded your ranking. You are awarded your ranking. So in other examination systems, uh, there is a like a preliminary system and a main system and some of the examinations there is a some weightage adding. But here there is no worry about that. Right, here there is no weightage adding and there is no other systems. Uh, so this recruitment, uh, this recruitment purely according to your right merit order. According to your recruitment test, RT only, right? Just to remember, this challenging according to RT only, your ranking code will be fixed. 
and we'll just go with the next uh, next continuation what exactly the last last uh, recruitment center test so here there is a all countries all over the right uh, all over the centers here we have the most of all the cities all the cities i just send you the pdf here right uh, we have the all the cities all the cities we have the opening of the centers opening of the centers right uh, all the cities almost uh, all the cities we have right uh, including the hyderabad including the hyderabad and all over chennai right uh, and uh, bangalore right uh, so including all this uh, we have the we have the centers we have the center especially in the chennai there is a coimbatore right uh, so especially the chennai and uh, Coimbatore also we have the center, right? So just to remember what exactly the centers here they mentioned, and some of the centers they are right giving the right some of the star marks. So what exactly of that right that you know to just remember, right? And there is a one challenging also they are asking, and one important point you just note down, you just to note down here, right? So examination center except the Chennai. is chennai and bispo and kolkata and nagpur especially of this center right except this center except that this center right all other centers or should be allotted like first application is the first allotted this first application is the first allotted place so if you are apply quickly if you are apply quickly right you will allotted your nearest center so that's why hurry up to apply the post hurry up to apply the post immediately to log on and to register and to submit your right details here according to your submission details according to your application number your center will be confirmed so if you wish right to write a uh, write the exam nearest of your residency nearest of your place quickly to apply no worried about that quickly to apply right so this is about the some important uh, details about the esi notifications and if you have any doubts you can go through the chat box we are here right you just comment in the youtube we are here to reply you right but uh, just to start your preparation right even you are the state government employee even you are the right a private employee even you are the counter based employee no worries about that accept the challenge right immediately start your preparation we have the right some of the courses here we have the online classes and offline classes here right so and this is the time you can you can choose your career and this is the time you can join right so nidya center is having the so pure english classes uh, we are not including any other languages uh, in this session so we are uh, right only explaining the classes very simple way in english language be ready to join in the nidya center we are here to help you right and to guide you if you have any doubts any queries please right uh, so right uh, please uh, go to the comment box and just to add in the comment right so this is about the esi uh, the details right and uh, be on right uh, uh, with the nidya center and don't forget to subscribe and like and to share and to comment right so thank you thank you for watching this video take care bye bye